Hello everyone, I have decided that for the next couple of videos I will be doing a series of how to make a game from start to finish. I wanted to start with something simple and one of the most simple things I could think of was making a Pong game. So we will start by making the regular Pong game and then after that we will start adding a bunch of extra features to transform this game into something much much more fun. So, what you, what you can expect from this tutorial is that we will make a Pong revamp game. It will also include horizontal movement instead of only vertical movement. We will add a bunch of power-ups and also the players will be able to shoot. We will add support so that two players can play at the same time using different joysticks. And you will also get to see me make, creating all of the assets which means that I will be drawing and I'm not good at drawing so you will just see me draw bad basically but that's what everything we'll do in this tutorial so to get started let's create a new Unity project we can name it to Pong Revamp we will be using the latest Unity stable Unity version it got released just a few days ago it's 2018.3 and we will of course do it it in 2D. Yeah, create it. All right, now you need to have started up. Um, to begin with, I won't be making the asset just yet. I will be using the built in Unity uh, sprites. And the first thing we will do is creating a paddle that can move up and down. So I will just create a 2D object, a sprite. We call it player one for now. Let's give it a sprite of a UI sprite and move it a bit to the left so it's visible. Let's make it a bit bigger as well, perhaps two times five. Yeah, this is visible. Let's make it a bit bigger. Yeah, that's good. Um, now comes our first decision making. So how should we move this paddle up and down we could use forces but from experience it's very hard to handle forces in movement and also for a pong game forces doesn't really suit the game so we won't be going with forces the other two options we have it is to move it by changing its transform directly or by adding a velocity I usually like adding a velocity a bit more, so we will start with that approach. And if it doesn't suit us in the later part of the game, we will just change it. It's, just, it's not hard to change. So to do that, we need to add a rigid body. And let's set it to dynamic. And we will also add a collider. All right. Now we can go ahead and make a script, C sharp. Call it player controller. Remember to attach it to the player, and then we can go inside of it. All right. The first thing we need is a variable that decides how fast our uh, player or paddle will move. So let's create it. It's a serialized field so that we can change the um, value from the inspector. Uh, private float move speed you can set it to 5 and um, just as a side note variables are per default private in the C sharp so you could omit writing this but I'm just in the habit of writing private it doesn't really matter but if you want you can write it like this as well right now we need a variable to save the our input val value inside of so Let's create a regular float value, call it uh, move value. And in our update method, we will check for the um, input that the player does and assign it to a variable move value. So move value, not speed, value equal to input dot get axis. And the axis we are interested in is the vertical up and down, like so. 
And then if we are going to use uh, velocities, we will do the uh, setting of the velocity in the fixed update method because it's physics related. So to do that, we also need a reference to our rigid body. Rigid body. Rigid body. And then in the awake method, we can get the reference. So rigid body is equal to get component. Rigid body 2D. Like so. And finally, in the fixed update method, we will set rigid body dot velocity to equal a new vector two so and we don't want to change the x value it should be remain what it was so it's rigid body dot velocity dot x and for the y it's uh, going to be move value so the direction that the player wants to move times move speed um, this value here move value will go oh wait it should be like that so this value here goes from minus one when the player is pressing downwards all the way until positive one when the player um, presses upwards and then it will consist of all the values in between minus one and one so it's more like a directional value um, not quite but almost like directional so let's go back inside of unity and check it if this works all right can see that we can move our play up and down but i am noticing that when i release the balance it's slipping down or i am falling down slowly and it's because i forgot to remove the gravity scale from his rigid body in pong we don't want gravity to exist at all so you should set it down to zero now if we go back inside the game we'll see that the drifting is gone we can see that he's moving great um i would like to keep these videos quite short so i think we will take a break here and go on in uh, part two in making uh, or setting the bounds for our player so that we can't move outside of the play screen and also be adding a ball right see you again see you then